The first match of the new year saw Rachel Spawn and I come to the Western Australian State Basketball Centre, Rach, for the match between the West Coast Waves and the Logan Thunder. These two teams down the bottom of the ladder mm. and we were expecting a tight game because of it. It was almost like a grand final in build-up for both of these sides, knowing that they don't get too many opportunities on national TV and they had an opponent that was around their level. Well, it didn't disappoint, did no. it, Dan? It ended up being a fantastic game to watch and um, particularly the last quarter was quite amazing. But uh, both teams started really well. There wasn't, we mentioned there wasn't a lot of defence being played. Everyone, they were shooting great. But then Logan seemed to dominate, um, really, until the last quarter came round. You're right. It, sort of from about halfway through, it was an even opening, about halfway through the opening quarter, Logan Thunder got on top. We see some crisp ball movement from them. Kristen Veal making a perimeter shot. Tegan Cunningham was almost unstoppable. And here's Hannah Zavett getting involved as well. It was, they had the class players. They've got three players with championship experience. And they were able to open up a double figure lead late in the first quarter that wasn't really ever under threat until very late in the game. And that was mainly because of Tony Edmondson um, on camera now. She just had 15 points in the last quarter and she, you know, she's been their leading scorer and she, they have relied heavily on her shoulders to keep them in matches. but. But what the difference was, was that uh, they're in this contest going into the, the last quarter. Yeah, so what happened? Because Logan led by 13, by 16 and by 14 at three quarter time. But then all of a sudden, West Coast came rattling home. They got back to within a single basket. Was it something that the Ways were doing or did the Logan Thunder freeze up? Well, I think Logan Thunder continued to have their terrible turnover count, yes. which actually gave um, West Coast the opportunity to, to take on the match. And they started to finally hit their shots. They, they were missing the easy ones and making the hard ones. So I think that's, that's where the difference came, like this one here. It's a really <laughs> tough basket from Natalie Burton, yep. but unfortunately for the Ways fans, it wasn't going to be enough. And in the end, despite Tony Edmondson's best efforts, you mentioned, Rach, an extraordinary last quarter where she had 13 points in the last term. They did come up four points short. And the final analysis, well, there it is on the screen. The West Coast Waves were defeated by the Logan Thunder by four points. West Coast 65, Logan 69.